Hi traders, welcome to a new trading platform guide video. This is going to be a very quick tutorial on how I work with and how I program my trading view drawing templates. This is just going to be a great shortcut that you can use to make your chart analysis a lot more efficient and a lot quicker by having a preset of different drawing tools such as trend lines horizontal lines rectangles boxes etc that you might be needing in order to annotate your charts so let's open here this is just a random uh, nasdaq chart on the four hour i'm just going to use it as the base for the example so first thing is I always like to have my little handy toolbar here down on the bottom left. You can probably can see it because of this bar I have the bottom, but pretty much right underneath here, there's a little star symbol. And if you put your cursor on it, it says show favorite drawing toolbars. You can see if I switch it on and off, it comes on and off. So I always like to have that on. Now, what is going to be showing up here? Well, on the left side, you have all your drawing tools. Anything that you put this little star icon here, add to favorites, anything with the yellow star is going to be in your favorites. And that's all going to go here on your toolbar. So you can see the main drawing tools I use is horizontal line, horizontal ray, trend line, ray, rectangle than you know Fibonacci brush and volume profile tools but pretty much this first five things are what I use in every analysis of charts that I use to annotate them and everything okay so I'm just going to show you how I do templates with them so let's say when I'm looking at support and resistance levels, if you've seen my market analysis that I released on the weekends, I like to use orange lines for the higher time frame levels like the daily and then gray lines for the hourlies. So like if I go here and I put a horizontal line, let's say this is a big level. You can see it's showing up on gray because I've selected daily and I just put it and it always remembers the last drawing that you made. So if I go here and I click here and I put DH level, you can see that it turns orange because that's the way I like my higher time frame levels. If I go into the four hour, and let's say this is an hourly level, so I want it in gray now, then I would go. You can either click on the drawing and then this brings the menu and you can select templates or you can just right click on it and select templates from here. And if I put HM, hour minute level, you can see it turns gray, okay? Same thing with boxes. Like, for example, I have um, I don't know, let's say this is a support area right here and I have a four hour order block, four hourly block. And so if I just put the template, it's just going to turn into my four hour template. If I would go on the daily, you can see that it doesn't come up because I don't have a program for the daily, but I have it on the four hour. And it's just going to show up there because I have it set as my four hour block, etc. OK, so how do we make this templates? So let's say I want to make, I don't know, a. I want to make a green trend line when I know that there's support here. So I'm going to grab my trend line tool. And let's say I'm just going to put a trend line here. And you can see with this for the trend lines, I don't really have any templates saved. So let's just make a new template together here. So I just click it. I go into the settings 
and I bring up the menu and let's say this is a trend line that I only want to show on the hour and minute time frames coordinates I don't touch text I don't need any text on it and then style let's say we want it green because this is going to be a green support trend line I can change the type but let's just leave it as a line I can also make it as an arrow but I just want it normal extend etc I can mark off different things but this is pretty much what I want just a green line on the hourly and the minutes so then once I have my trend my all my settings you go down here where it says template at the bottom let me just change here and you can see here if I click apply defaults it's just gonna make this drawing the same as what comes up on trading view the first time you're using it but I want to click save as and I'm gonna give it a name so let's just put green trend line and I can even put I like to put the time frames hour minute just so I know where is gonna show I click Save and now if I click on this and I click templates you can see it is gonna show over here so now next time I don't know let's make this a dash trend line like that and then let's just erase it and let's say I'm gonna go into a different market let's go into the ES and I want to do the same thing on a trend line here if I take my trend line tool as I said is going to remember the last setting you use so that's why it's showing me a black dash line but then I'll, all I have to do is come right click select my default and there it is and you can see if I go into the daily it disappears because we did not program it for the daily time frame I can go down to the one hour and it's going to show it or just go back to the four hour and that's pretty much it you can do the same thing for other drawings let's say this is a box of support and I don't know let's just put it like my template for the one hour plus right there let's just make it more gray and let's say I want to make a box that is you know purple so then you know I would just take this and then the same thing you just go to the settings template save as give it a name and it's going to show up there you can see that I have a lot of different templates because I like to use my volume profile tools so you know I have settings for like low volume nodes I have settings for bullish low volume nodes I have settings for gaps I have settings for um, blocks etc okay and that's pretty much it if you want to get rid of a template you can go to the list and there's a little x over here if you click that you're just gonna remove it or if you wanna let's say I want this but I want to make it a dash line instead of a straight line and then I can just go back and I can put save drawing template as and give it another name or I can just type in the same exact name click save and it's going to ask me if I want to replace the old one I say yes and now next time you use this now you're going to have a the same trend line that you did so you just go here template and now it is saved as the new one that you made okay so that's pretty much it again very simple how to use templates in trading view have any questions or comments leave them down below 
and let me know what are your favorite drawing tools to use templates in. And that's pretty much it. Hope you're having a great week and I'll see you all in the next one.